Of all developed nations, the United States has the most unequal distribution of income, and we're surging toward even greater inequality. Undoubtedly, uh, one of the hallmarks of the New Deal was to create countervailing power uh, to the big corporations and the wealthy uh, through unions, uh, through uh, you know, uh, the 40-hour work week, time and a half overtime, uh, through unemployment insurance, social security, uh, many things we take for granted today, the basic workplace protections, come from the 1930s. And we do have to completely rearrange and reorganize the economy uh, around uh, average working people instead of uh, around the needs of the big corporations and the, and the wealthy. But in the movie, I mean, we, this movie is not about what we should do. I mean, what Jake has very carefully done, and I agree with him 100%, is to present the problem uh, and explain the problem. And the solutions really do follow from that explanation. The movie is about saying, here's where we are right now. And where we are now is uh, as unequal economically as we've been possibly since they started keeping track. What does that mean? Well, it means that our economy is in stuck in neutral. It's not, it's not going ahead because the consumers don't have enough money to buy things and the economy isn't growing. It also means that our politics are as divisive as they've been in recent memory and all of these are connected. The movie does a, does a, d uh, connects the dots between a bunch of these, our, the, the threats to our democracy um, and our economy are all sort of sitting on this sort of foundation of a very unequal, imbalanced uh, distribution of, of, of money. Last year we made 36,000. I'd probably make 50,000 a year working 70 hours a week. The middle class is struggling. So where do we go from there? Well, I think what happens is if you step back and you say, if, this, if we were looking at an economy this unequal, what would happen? You'd say some people are going to be really angry who feel like the game is rigged against them, who aren't getting ahead, who aren't able to make it to the middle class. And that's certainly what we see both on the right and on the left. You'd expect a divided, uh, you know, uh, uh, politics. And so I think the question now is like when things get this bad, people tend to get uh, frustrated and maybe a little bit cynical that they can't see a way out. But I think the darkest hour is just before the dawn. I think you have to believe that there's a tipping point. There's something that comes along that says, okay, we as a country don't like the way this is going. It's not the type of America we all want to live in. Equal opportunity isn't there for everybody when the economy is this unequal. So we have to get those things back. And so my hope is, is that that tipping point is, 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 is soon.